Okay everyone, in this little video we're going to have a look at how an earth wire works to keep us safe. So before we do that, we need to look at what should happen inside this appliance. So we've got a toaster here and we're going to have a look at how this should work if everything's going properly, if everything's going okay. So just to quickly label the things that we've got here, we have got a few things in our plug. We've got our live wire. So that's at 230 volts and uh, that is where the current goes through to get into the appliance and we've got our neutral wire on the other side and that carries the current back through into the plug and uh, back out into the national grid and we've got our green and yellow stripe wire which is the one we're focusing on today which is our earth wire and you'll notice as well, within the plug, we've got a fuse. Okay, so what should happen is that the current should flow through the fuse and into the live wire and into the appliance, okay? And so it's going in this direction here. And when it does that for the toaster, it should go through the little heating element all the way through there and that will heat up the little wire that's inside there and that'll uh, allow you to cook your toast, okay? So it should go all the way through here like this, okay? And then back out through the neutral wire and then you've got a complete circuit and everything's working perfectly well. But if there is a problem, like for example in this one, if you notice here, our live wire has broken. So we've got a bit of an issue there. And if we didn't have an earth wire, so we're gonna pretend in this one we don't have an earth wire, so this earth wire is gone. And if you came along and touched it, this could cause a big problem. And the reason is that the current would still go in through the live wire, but it won't go into the heating element, it's broken, so it'll spill out into the casing, okay? And this means that this metal casing, or the metal casing, which is important, is live, okay? So, it is at 230 volts, and if you touch it, your hand is at zero volts, and therefore, the current will go through the casing and into your hand to reach the ground. Okay, so it's gonna go through your hand to the ground. Because the current kinda of wants to get to that zero volts, which is like the earth and the, the ground. So if this like earth wire wasn't here and there was a fault, like this live wire breaking and touching the casing, the current could flow through the live wire into your hand and to the ground and when it did this it would electrocute you uh, and could cause uh, like muscle damage and if at worst can cause a heart attack and heart failure. So what we do instead is we have a live wire and the reason for this is that when the current goes into the appliance it still if it breaks it can go into the casing and again, it wants to find a route to the ground. And we've still got the fact that our live wire is at 230 volts. But this time we've got an earth wire in there, which is also attached to the casing, which is at zero volts, and will carry the current to the ground. So, the current will go into the casing still because it's broken but instead of going anywhere else it will go through the earth wire even if you come along and touch it it won't go into you okay so the current will not go into you and the reason for that is because the earth wire has a low resistance Okay, so the earth wire has a low resistance, 
which means that the current will find it easier to go through the earth wire than it will to go through you because you've got a much higher resistance than this big thick copper wire and because it's got a low resistance and overall now the circuit's got a very low resistance this is going to mean that the current going into the live wire will increase okay so your current is going to increase and what that will do if you remember what the fuse does okay so the fuse is going to break so let's move it out of the way so the fuse will blow so the higher current will cause the fuse to blow okay so just to summarize this bit here if there is a fault so there is a fault and live wire is touching the casing then the current will go through the earth wire which means there is a low resistance And this means there is a high current and this leads to the fuse blowing and importantly what that means is this turns off the circuit or this breaks the circuit so um, circuit is broken so that breaks the circuit here at the fuse and now no current can get through at all and it's again it's going to be perfectly safe to touch so within and this all happens within um, maybe a second okay so within a second the fuse will blow and the circuit will be switched off so again you touch the toaster and there is no current even going into the case anymore so now it's even safer than just with the earth wire so it's the combination of the earth wire and the fuse working together that keep you safe.